here. CNBC's Valerie Castro is live outside a family reunification center where really families are waiting to try to find out anything they can. Valerie, what's happening there? Well, Shep, on any other day, this is the Surfside Community Center. But as you ma uh, mentioned, right now it is the reunification point. This is where family members are coming to see if they can find out any information about loved ones who are missing or unaccounted for, friends who tell us they know people who live in the building who they have not heard from yet at this point. Of course, some people are coming here and getting the news that they were not hoping for. Earlier this afternoon, we did see a woman come out on a stretcher. She was loaded into an ambulance. She appeared to be in some sort of shock. And at this point, it's unclear if she was a resident of the building or if she was here looking for a family member and may have gotten some devastating news. Uh, this community center is also where the Red Cross is stationed. They are here trying to help residents who have been displaced. Uh, as you can imagine, some people are now just, frankly, homeless. We spoke to a man earlier. He lives on the 10th floor of the building, and he says last night, he just happened to be over at his girlfriend's house watching a soccer game. He decided to spend the night there, and that's when this collapse happened. And uh, take a listen to what he had to say. Everything's gone. My whole life was my documents, my passport, my green card, money. My, well, I'm alive, but all my, my belongings are over there. I can't even imagine what these people are feeling here looking for their families. You know, I came here at 6.30 in the morning, and I saw so many people crying. It's, uh, it's really sad. And we know there are still so many families looking for loved ones who have been unaccounted for. We want to put some pictures out there for you just in case anyone has information about these people. Um, an orthopedic surgeon, his name is Dr. Brad Kenneth Cohen. He's 51 years old. We're told he is still unaccounted for. That's according to his wife. And the Gomez family, a family spokesperson, tells us that Luis Fernando Bart Gomez, his wife Catalina Gomez, and their 14-year-old daughter Valeria, she was here attending a tennis camp in South Florida. Florida, they are still unaccounted for and missing. Uh, back out here live, of course, the Red Cross, as I mentioned, they are here with supplies, but we've seen the community bringing supplies as well. They've been dropping off bottles of water, anything that they can do to help the family and friends here who are still waiting for that information. Shep? Have you heard from anyone who's heard good news today, Valerie, or what are they telling you? Shep, so far, no. We actually just spoke to a young woman a little while ago. She is here still looking for her mother. She says her father got the news overnight. He lives in California. Uh, he alerted his daughter that her mother was missing. Um, so, no, unfortunately, it's a lot of people still looking for loved ones, still hopeful that they will get some news that they are perhaps in a hospital somewhere or in need of care. But unfortunately, so far, uh, not a lot of good news other than the community starting to rally together to bring those supplies here. Valerie Castro live at that reunification center for us. Valerie, thanks so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.